Hi there folks, welcome back, I'm Ifo Scotland and today we're going to be talking to you about Keep Scotland the Brand. If you didn't gather from our intro, Scottish produce is renowned worldwide for its quality, to the point where even our water receives praise. Keep Scotland the Brand is a growing movement, currently gathering support all over Scotland, but particularly amongst communities which produce our food and drink. The group is highlighting the importance of our high quality Scottish produce being branded as such. You'll see in the picture above that strawberries grown in Kincardinshire have been slapped with British strawberries packaging. Now, before we get into further detail on this, we got in contact with the movement and can confirm that they do not endorse any form of boycotting. That is not the type of campaign they're leading. Their campaign is about engagement and supporting all of our agricultural industry. Keep Scotland the brand's goals dovetail neatly with the National Farmers Union, who published the picture document to address challenges that Scotland's agriculture sector will face post-Brexit. Inside the first few pages of the document, the National Farmers Union clearly outlined their goals for the future, with giving consumers the choice to support Scottish and buy local with transparent origin and provenance labelling. This relates back to the British strawberries packaging we showed at the beginning, and indicates that it is not aligned with the National Farmers Union's plans for the future. The document builds on these ideas and their agriculture policy, and there are two specific areas we've highlighted to look at in a bit more detail. Firstly is that policy must reward the active, productive and efficient farmer and crofter. We want to incentivise innovation that will allow farming and crofting businesses to be dynamic, resilient and able to adapt to new opportunities. Naturally, this is a goal that all businesses and organisations should prioritise and pursue. While it may not be the only reward, a huge part of the reward is recognition for the blood, sweat and tears that go into producing food. This leads us into our next point, provenance. The superior quality and provenance of Scottish produce provides an opportunity to develop markets at home, in Europe and globally, adding significant value to local and national economies. Using bland British branding does our food and drink industry a disservice, as it ignores the diversity of the produce in not just Scotland but across the rest of the UK as well. Of course, we couldn't talk about food provenance and the agriculture industry without bringing up Brexit. Brexit threatens Scottish food and drink provenance for a few reasons. Scottish beef, Scottish lamb and Scotch whisky, to name a few, are set to lose their protected status after Brexit. This has already been seen with Peruvian government ministers demanding to be able to produce their own scotch, in return for a trading relationship post-Brexit. Of course, Peru can make whatever whisky they like, but Scotch whisky is currently a protected name and is renowned worldwide for its quality. The protected status stops imitations of the product that would dilute the reputation it has. This protected status is currently guaranteed by the EU, but no such guarantee is yet to come from the British government at Westminster for post-Brexit. On the 29th of March this year, the Scottish government confirmed it would give a quarter of a million boost to the promotion of local produce, while also announcing additional funding to support locally produced food and drink across Scotland. So, what can you do to help? Apart from sharing this completely professional video, which I promise was not in the slightest the result of a late night iron brew binging session, you can visit Keep Scotland the brand's website as it has a full list of ways to get active and get involved. It's important to remember this campaign is about awareness and engagement, and a great way to engage is by buying locally, whether that be from a local butcher or a weekly farmer's market. On the website, there's also the opportunity to leaflet campaign, as well as download source material to talk with your friends and family about. It's crucial that this campaign doesn't encourage anyone to boycott, as it's often the retailer that specifies what goes on their own label, not the supplier. Boycotts are also seen as divisive, and if someone was going to lose their job because of a fall in sales due to a boycott, how likely are they going to be to support the campaign? This is a positive engagement campaign to support Scotland's food and drink industry. The loss of identity incurred from British branding impacts farmers from Wales, Northern Ireland and England as well. So support Scotland the brand, because we produce some of the best stuff in the world. Last but not least, we'd like to say a huge thank you to Ruth Watson of Keep Scotland the Brand. Ruth has been to meetings all over Scotland, raising awareness for the movement, and was an absolute star in pointing us to the right sources when we decided to do this video. Please support our excellent work. We've left a link to Keep Scotland the Brand in the description down below.
And that's it for today folks, we hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please share it with your friends and family, we'd like to say a massive thank you to all of those who've recently subscribed and recently liked some of our other videos, our viewership over the past couple of weeks has been incredible, so if you enjoyed this please consider liking and subscribing, if you've got any questions as well, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. If you'd like to support our work in other ways, keep an eye out for us on other social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Tumblr, and you can also check out our website, iforscotland.com. If you'd like to donate anything at all to go towards maybe video editing lessons, please check out our Patreon as well. We'll leave all the links in the description below. Cheers folks, and have a great day wherever you are.